Like the Raiders' old Coliseum in Oakland, some actually drive people away from going to games altogether. They're but massive. Then, they're stadiums that every fan puts on their bucket list. Wow. The must-see stadiums they just have to watch a game at. Recently, franchises have been putting everything they have into playing in futuristic, multi-billion dollar venues that attract people from all over the world. Ever since AT&T Stadium, otherwise known as Jerry's World, broke ground in 2009, fans have been calling bragging rights on who has the biggest and best stadium in the league. Oh. So that's something fans are competitive about now. Who's got the best We stadium? have the best stadium. <laughs> but it's true, all the money they put into, you know, buying tickets, sponsor, like donations, everything. They want to have something to brag about. They mm -hmm. spend a lot of money on their, you know, when they're there. Yep. Old and new alike. Today, we take a look at the five best stadiums in the NFL. U.S. Bank Stadium. We start in Minneapolis with that the ultimate sick. trendsetter in modern stadium design. Duh. In 2016, the Minnesota Vikings rebuilt their collapsing Metro Dome into a venue that looked like it was designed for NASA and wow. not an NFL team. U.S. Bank Stadium's spacecraft look is nearly see-through, with a transparent roof and the west side of the stadium made completely of glass, giving a view of the Minneapolis skyline. You know what they should do? Because it's got a transparent roof, they should do like a, uh, t like a, not a tourist thing, but like, you know how you can climb the O2? So in the UK, we've got an O2 stadium, you can climb it. Um, and it costs money, obviously, it's like an excursion kind of thing. But they should do something where you could watch a game from the roof so they might land you down and you could watch it bird's eye view through the glass yeah. if it's transparent enough. That'd be cool, but imagine their health and safety against that. But they can build around that. Yeah. They can put proper wall. Like, yeah, you know I mean, if they could do something like that, I think that'd be sick. Yeah. Imagine watching the flyovers as well. That's, it'll be popular. I'm that'd be you. great. Yeah. <laughs> the stadium is actually a dome, just like its predecessor, with a turf field that can hold nice. over 70,000 fans. Wow. In a short time, a West lot. Bank Stadium has hosted huge moments and created new traditions. Since moving into U.S. Bank, Vikings fans created the Skull Chant that has quickly become their battle cry. U.S. Bank Stadium <laughs> was also the location of the Minneapolis Miracle, where Stefan Diggs caught a game-winning prayer to beat the Saints in the playoffs. Every single fan was off their feet chanting Skull, 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 shaking the glass in the stadium. The Vikings set the foundation for the design of the next stadium on this list. I would love to be in the crowd for one of them games. It just looks sick. It's just like a lifetime experience. But we need to make sure we support the right team. <laughs> we don't want to piss off anyone. I think whoever we support is going to annoy someone. I just, not, yeah. Comment below who is the best team to support or who would, you know, not even the best team because that's, you know, debatable. <laughs> what stadium should we visit that will give us a great experience, experience. as tourists because we are coming to the US soon guys dates to be announced I want to wear that hand you know the one that goes like yeah, that, that like this? my sister had one of them is it? God knows I want one, one of those <laughs> and I get a town girl at this as well Norwegian <laughs> Stadium <laughs> New is almost always better. Well, as far as NFL stadiums go, well. our fourth best stadium is the apple in the eye Raiders. of the newly relocated Las Vegas Raiders. Located on the iconic Las Vegas Strip, Allegiant Stadium is the real-life iteration of Darth Vader's Death Star. The <laughs> massive 65,000-seat gloss black and silver dome has an unprecedented outside video board attached and a massive retractable sliding window that looks out onto the Vegas Strip. That is it's also home of the world's largest 3D printed object, an 85-foot rendition of the Al Davis Memorial Torch wow. that sits in front of the retractable That's windows. Cool. Like in Oakland, the torch will be lit before every game to signify the Raiders' will to win. Now the Raiders finally have a huge futuristic mecca that truly represents the legacy Al Davis created after years of having the NFL's worst stadium. But the Raiders are all set to turn Las Vegas silver and black in 2020. They went from having the worst to one of the best stadiums. You know what I would have loved for this video to do? I would have loved if they put the cost behind the creation because I wonder how much it costs to build these futuristic stadiums. Millions. Comment below, guys. You guys know everything from the sounds of it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are always informing us. So comment yes. below, how much do you think the rough price for these stadiums are to, to build? SoFi Stadium. 
The well, five that? billion dollar behemoth oh, makes debut billion. in 2020 as the new home of both the LA Rams and the Chargers. It's basically the Sistine wow. Chapel of sports entertainment. In the middle sits a 1,000 ton video board, appropriately named the Oculus, that, that covers so the sick. stadium end to end with 4K HDR views. It took less than a few days from its debut before the Oculus was dubbed the eighth wonder of the world. With <laughs> fan connectivity at the forefront, SoFi tagged teamed with Google to build a cloud app exclusively for the stadium. This app allows fans to quickly look at their phone to see a fresh replay of any play. I'm not going to lie, these stadiums are making Wembley Stadium look basic. <laughs> Wembley, Wembley Stadium is basic. We've got Wembley, we've got O2, we've got a couple, but these are, to this level. these are like... <sighs> They spent five billion on this. Of course, it's going to be, you know, surpassing Wembley Stadium and O2 Arena. <laughs> Peek at the Oculus board for the world's first 4K live production. SoFi is the most expensive wow. stadium in history, and it took nearly four years to build. From the moment of its debut, mad. we knew SoFi was going to be the most state-of-the-art yeah, technological mad. experience to ever exist. However, SoFi Stadium isn't just a football venue. There is also a massive entertainment attachment coming in the near future. The entertainment district includes office buildings, shops, restaurants, residential units, hotels, movie theaters, and parks. So in its sick. entirety, the complex will be 3.5 times the size of the Disneyland Park. So it's wow. no surprise that Super Bowls and international events alike are flocking to have SoFi host. Imagine Super Bowl in there. Oh my. They I can't imagine how much a ticket would be to go over there. But imagine the money generated. Yeah. Like, because, oh, that is insane. The Rams and Chargers are just hoping that the new permanent home field advantage can host some big wins for them as well. Century Link Field. Seattle is home to one of the best fan experiences in the world. CenturyLink Field is home to the Seattle Seahawks and the 12th Man. The 12th Man is the self-proclaimed nickname for the Seahawks fans because they impact the game so much that it's like the Hawks are getting a 12th player on the field. <laughs> CenturyLink's like unique shape was designed That's with unique. noise in mind, engineered with reflective roofs and concrete seats into an egg-like oval that acts as sound mirrors. This makes it one of the best home field advantages in sports. 72,000 people sound like hundreds of thousands inside this stadium. Opponent they went in, reflective sound wall. That is, they wanted to make sure the opposition team is hearing their fans. <laughs> That's mad, you know? Yep. Let's say the noise at CenturyLink is like trying to play next to a jet engine. The 12s have even broken a Guinness Book of World Record for the loudest stadium twice oh in the past wow. couple of years. Big plays in primetime situations Hulk. have even shown up on the Richter scale, a machine used to detect earthquakes. The stadium is built for the ultimate the fan hell? experience, covering nearly every seat under a roof, so that the famous Seattle rain doesn't ruin a Seahawks victory. Nearly 90% of tickets are sold to Seahawks season ticket holders every year, proving it might just be the best fan experience in the world. Lambeau Field is there really any competition for Title Town USA? Named after the Packers founder, Curly Lambeau, the atmosphere at Lambeau Field is unlike any that other. 80,000 ravaging cheeseheads pack wow. the small town of Green Bay every fall Sunday to come see the Packers every in the Sunday. league's best stadium. Cheeseheads own the capital of NFL fandom. No, literally, they own it. Lambeau Field and the Packers are the only publicly owned sports franchise in America. Walking through the hollowed grounds is like taking a walk through football history with legendary monuments surrounding the stadium and a hall of fame unlike any other inside. While the stadium really doesn't cool. have some of the state-of-the-art features as the others on this list, it's going to take the other stadiums nearly a century to build as much history as Lambeau. Mm. Looking to buy season tickets for the Packers? Well, get in line. Season tickets have been sold out every season since 1960. One season after the legend... This is why they can afford to build these stadiums. Like, the fans are crazy on it like they don't mess around the money generated is like and it's an 80,000 stadium I mean American football is such a big sport in America and I believe it plays every Sunday or so they said that I don't know if Majority it's like seasonal Sundays. but yeah comment below guys on that one we're not oh sure oh my gosh they take that money reinvest into the stadium 
It's, it's just great. so much. It's just great, yeah. When Vince Lombardi became head coach. When Green Bay babies are born, their parents put them on the 30-year wait That's list. Cute. Lambeau Field has given the Packers the biggest home field advantage in the NFL, an incredible 172 to 66 record at home. While wow. number five through number two are all brand new stadiums, it just goes to show that sometimes old school can still Lambeau leap into first place. The NFL's best stadium isn't up for much debate, not as long as the frozen tundra still exists. So, there you have it. The five best stadiums in the NFL. Oh, man. Which one of these have you been to? And which one are you looking forward to visit in the future? Yo, them stadiums are crazy. Which one's your favorite one? You know what? As much as I like the history in the like the number what the, the last one we just one. watched, yeah. and I think there's another one as well that had a bit of history. I like the modern look. I like technology. So the one that had the the five billion. The ring yeah. in the middle, and it was like we partnered with Google. I think for me, just because of how futuristic it looks, I think that was my favorite. I also, I don't know if it, I think the Death Star one was different. That looked like the Death Star. I think that was fourth. That one was good as well, but I feel like the one with the ring was mad. I would like to visit that one as well. The one I said. That one stood out to me out of all of them. Yeah. But also the one that it showed last. That's something I'd like to go to as well because of the history side of Same. it. Same, yeah. Yeah. I'd want to experience it. Oh, we want to experience both. So let's see. Guys, thank you for recommending the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Suggest uh, videos below. We are reading the comments and we are reacting to these videos. So keep hitting us up with them. For now, peace out. Bye.